Have you ever wanted to become an eSports pro? So have we, but there was one thing holding us back. We're not exactly pro level gamers. So we sat down with Dylan Envoy from the legendary eSports team Optic Chicago so we could dunk on our gameplay and give us a few tips. Remember, if you want to hear more tips on how you can get into competitive Call of Duty, make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Hopefully it's uh, not too disastrous for you to watch. Uh, it can't be that disastrous, come on now. <laughs> Uh, some people, for instance, need to shoot bots to get their shot better. You know, some people like to play pubs instead of shooting bots to get their shot better. Um, some people like to watch a lot of gameplay, you know, like I'll watch a lot of pro streams or watch their own gameplay to get better. So you just need to recognize early on what you think you need to do to excel in your own, you know, in your own role on your team. Control favors defense on every map even though some maps offense it's going to be easier than others. Uh, so as long as you win your defenses, you're going to be better off than not. You lost your defense here, so you kind of put yourself in a bad spot, but. <laughs> <laughs> so like this game mode, I mean, you kind of want to play a bit slower just because of the lives. Um, you're kind of restricted to that. And there's two points. So if you can just hold one, a lot of the times like you'll find it a lot easier than you know trying to split your numbers and holding two both points are pretty easy to get on attack compared to other maps where like moscow it favors defense a lot so you really just want to make sure you slow down and get like a team push well i mean they have streaks and stuff right now so it's obviously like you said a bit harder but just expecting this gunfights, these gunfights off spawn, like you know, you know all these people are here that the other team is playing very aggressive. So, so maybe you want to slow your approach. And I mean, you're doing a good job right here. You're waiting with your teammates. So it's at least, even though you guys lose these gunfights, it was the good game plan that, you know, there's four or five of you guys there. And, you know, if you're going to kill the enemy, that's how you're going to do it. I honestly went from a team of underdogs to a team expected to win. So it was a little bit of pressure to, you know, from the fans pr perspective that, you know, this is like a winning team. Like we have to have a winning mentality. We're, we're there to win every tournament we're at. But then again, like realizing that, you know, the competition has such a high level that it's going to be hard, you know, we're going to have to put in that work to get there. If you want to go from casual to competitive, I'd say the first thing you want to do is probably play some game battles matches, um, some wagers, maybe step into free entry tournaments, and then eventually pay your entry into tournaments um, for the bigger prizes. 